Four, 14 cents a gallon, I wish. <laughs> I don't think we're getting any gas here today. Nice start. No gas today. <laughs> you got that routine done, you know how to make it happen. All right, you did so you did so well at that. You uh you ready to make it happen for you? Okay, it's the white button. Okay, right. well then come on out here. You got somebody with you? Nope, just me. Just you. Well, okay. that's the dog, but that's her. Let's put you right here, my friend. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, what's the routine? What do I do? <laughs> okay, now you go. Yeah! Crazy rays, custom twisted tees. Matter of fact, I think that was crazy, right? It? He took uh, those pictures. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm not a Chevy guy, but he's easier. This style of Chevy. Probably my favorite. There it is. Can't go wrong with a old rusty uh, uh, tooth body in the in the desert, right? Nice. Well, we've come as far north as we're going to on this trip. Uh, it was this wasn't even planned in the trip, but I thought, you know, if I could go far enough north and just pick up a stretch of historic Route 66, that would be cool, right? Two things, two classic things I wanted to get was, you know, an old gas station. We got that, and uh, and uh, an old hotel. I don't know if we're gonna get that. It's an old Packard dealer. Okay. Uh, they sold Chevy, Chevrolets, Buicks, Oldsmobiles, Jeeks, Cadillacs, LaSalle, Willys, and Overland. Uh, and Studebakers and Packards. The Brunswick Hotel. This is Kingman, Arizona. This is as far north as we're going to come on this trip. We're actually going to backtrack the way we came, back up over those mountains, and we will uh, 
we will still check out that uh, uh, Oakman. Because that looks like a great little town. It would be regrettable if uh, we get something train related in, in all, all this trip. Something train related in here. So I think I found something. I figure, here you go, go big. So how's that? Uh, check that out. Yes, sir. Santa Fe. I look, they got, um, looks like blue lights on the wheels, Christmas lights, and up top they got the icicle lights. Let me see here, I have to adjust this camera a little bit. No? Hey, look, there's pigeons right here. Hey, pigeon. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Do it. What are you doing? So what's a pigeon doing? This is a great display in that they, they included a caboose for a condensed display that doesn't have freight cars or passenger cars to have the uh, to have the engine the tender and the caboose makes that makes for a nice display yes, sir. I can feel a little better about this trip having a come across the big locomotive. Number 37.59. It is a 484 locomotive. We got time for a little bit more. We gotta get over those mountains. How's that fun doing? Uh, it's still holding up. Okay, this is that this is definitely worth a stop, huh? There we go. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, That still had the top on it. I would, I would own that and drive that in a minute. <laughs> I so would. Here you go. For fifteen seven seven seven, this uh, clipper can be yours. Seventy two hundred bucks for a nice Thunderbird. Hee hee. Ah, eleven nine nine nine. For the big Mercury 8. That Mercury probably has a straight 8 in it. Uh, yeah. Nah, you know, I like Ford trucks, but I'll pass it out one. An old Toyota up there for $9,000. Here we go. It's a Plymouth. Never been big on... I've never been big on Plymouth, but for, you know... <laughs> For three thousand dollars, you know, be sporting that thing around. Here we go. Here's my favorite, my second favorite on a lot. Although, are you kidding me? Almost nine thousand dollars for a forty Econo line. I had one. I think I paid five hundred bucks for it. <laughs> and matter of fact, it was from Wyoming and in, in great shape. But that's the car long gone. So, all right, yeah, so the theme is classic, right, or historic, historic Route 66, the same kind of fitting, classic. Yes, yes sir, I'll drive you in a minute, I'll find a top for you. Okay, I got some little gas pumps, marked at 27 cents a gallon. Keep an eye on the sun. That's how I tell what time of day it's getting to be. Well, 
that's it. We uh, we got some backtracking to do now. The sun is still plenty high, but we're gonna go ahead and get on the south side of that mountains and uh, find us a nice spot for the evening. I'm getting pretty hungry. It's gonna be dinner time before long. So uh, we got a few miles to put on, and uh, we gotta climb them up. We're going to climb them Swiss Peak Historic Route 66 Mountain Pass Road. No room for error. We don't want to bust old Miss Tioga up any. So we'll get her up and over the mountain. Alright. 